protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Their whole ideology is about they're the leftist, they're the fops, they're the pseudo-intellectuals, they're the skinny tie wearers, they're going to show you bitter clingers. The president-elect didn't call it into question. He called on Russia to hack Secretary Clinton. It was the president-elect who, over the course of the campaign, indicated that he thought that President Putin was a strong leader. But you don't know that Vladimir Putin was behind those hacks. Well, we do know this, and I but can say But you don't this, know that, I, I so can, let's not pretend well, that you do. Well, let's not ignore what the Secretary of Homeland Security and the Director of National Intelligence said publicly, which is that these hacks were of such seriousness they could not have taken place without the approval at the highest levels of the Kremlin. That's so, speculation, that and we've is, seen a lot of... Well, it is speculation. It, That's it is not it speculation. Is. You can only it's say it's speculation. a statement of fact? Uh, it is a, safe, a statement of the intelligence community's best assessment. Is it entirely possible that the dumping of documents continued after the statement? Look how that guy uh, looks at you. Uh, and what may have been avoided was a uh, further escalation of the interference in the form of uh, trying to monkey around on election day or thereafter. That uh, sort of activity seemed to uh, have uh, curtailed. As far as the uh, WikiLeaks uh, connection, the evidence there is uh, not uh, as strong and we don't have good insight into uh, the sequencing of the releases uh, or when the, uh, when the data may have been provided. We don't, we don't have uh, as good insight into that. Oh, you said I'm scaring water for Putin. That's pretty well, hilarious. It, it, and I'm a little bit suspicious when I hear statements like all 17 agencies of the intelligence community. Mm -hmm. Well, all 17 don't conduct investigations, particularly cyber investigations. So you have five or six that may have a consensus that probably Russia meddled and it, it looks like they did. He has also questioned the on-the-record assessment of 17 intelligence agencies that Russia was trying to meddle in this election. You still don't have agreement on what was the motive, why would they do it, uh, you know, that, that it actually and then there's no evidence that it actually affected the outcome of the election back in may of 2012 while america slept an amendment overturned the long-standing smith munt act of 1948 and the foreign relations authorization act of 1987 allowing for materials produced by the state department and the broadcasting board of governors to be released within u.s borders the new law would give sweeping powers to the State Department and Pentagon to push television, radio, newspaper, and social media onto the U.S. public. It removes the protection for Americans. There are no checks and balances. No one knows if the information is accurate, partially accurate, or entirely false. If you saw BuzzFeed did an excellent story on f fake news and how much traffic they get and how much more traffic each of these uh, false news stories gets then uh, New York Times stories and Washington Post stories. So we're writing about it, but A, people aren't listening, or and B, they don't believe us. The U.S. is confident that the cyber attacks were conducted by Russia's GRU military intelligence arm. Investigators believe the hackers gained access to some Republican files, but that information never became public. There were two groups, two independently working groups that we associate with Russian intelligence agencies. One of them we associate with GRU. In the cybersecurity realm, attribution, as it's called, pointing the actual finger at someone and saying, you're the one who did it, is extremely difficult. Yeah, I was just going to ask you how easy or difficult it is to actually go about tracking down the person or persons responsible behind uh, it's this It's very hacking. difficult to track them, and it's actually extremely easy to spoof this type of information. I mean, mm. I myself can set my computer to a Russian language. I can decide to work between 9 to 5 Moscow time and then bounce my signal off of a computer in Siberia. It's very easy to do that. Mike Morell tells the Cypher Brief, a global security platform, it is an attack on our very democracy. He goes on to say, this is the political equivalent of 9-11. An act of war. And in this country, we have conceded defeat. Some experts, God, John war strategist John Weaver, for against one, Russia, have compared this to Pearl Harbor. Why would the CIA put out the story that the Russians wanted you to? Well, win? I'm not sure they put it out. I think the Democrats are putting it out because they suffered one of the greatest defeats in the history of politics. He must immediately declassify and release all relevant materials held by about the FBI. Cake? the CIA, DHS, and the other intelligence and WMDs? services, and in the White House, and anywhere else in government. 
and the attorney general must immediately appoint a special prosecutor <laughs> to investigate what InfoWars Life and InfoWarsLife.com is extremely excited to announce our latest release, Winter Sun, a revolutionary type of vitamin D3. Winter Sun is a premium quality vitamin D3 nutritional supplement. It is produced by extracting oil from healthy, nutrient-dense plants known as lichens. Every batch is analyzed for purity and D3 content. It's completely free of toxins and allergens. Visit InfoWars.com today or call 888-253-3139.